on this beautiful platform of YouTube, we have a whole niche of commentary channels. And basically, in a little nutshell, commentary channels are here to keep other YouTubers accountable. But who is keeping commentary channels accountable? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's happening in the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, make sure you follow me on social media at The Rewired Soul on Instagram and Twitter. I just recorded episode seven of the brand new podcast and I'll be announcing that when it's live over on Twitter and Instagram and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, I was talking about the subject of ignorance versus lying on the podcast and it made me think of the body language expert, Derek Van Shake, all right? Basically, I remembered that Derek Van Shake's most recent video was reading the body language of James Charles in his apology video to Tati Westbrook and calling him a liar. Now, before I get started, I just wanna make it clear, I find the technique of body language reading very, very fascinating. I read like the number one book on body language called What Everybody Is Saying. It's from um, a former FBI agent who was like legit when it came to interrogating people and reading their body language. It's very interesting to me. But at the end of the day, it is kind of a pseudoscience. If I'm being honest, I do prefer Reagan Wolf and I'll explain why pretty soon, but I think the point of this video will kind of let you know. So anyways, to catch you up to speed on what happened, um, most of you, if you're watching this video, you know about all of, all of the James Charles drama that happened. Then James Charles came out with his video saying no more lies, boom, receipt, 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 receipt. Oh my God, James Charles, clear of all charges. But it had me thinking, it had me thinking. So as I was talking about Derek Van Shake and accusing people of lying, I went and I checked out his YouTube channel because I was like, wait a second. His last video was using body language to accuse James Charles of lying. But since he made that video, it came out that James Charles was telling the truth. So my question was, did Derek Van Shake do one of a few things? Did he take that video down? Did he release another video correcting that video? Like, did he do anything to say like, yo, I was wrong about this, right? And I looked and there's nothing. So one of the first things that I'll just say, like, I'm just gonna use one example to talk about one of my issues with body language. And it comes from this clip right here. I owe everybody an explanation. What you'll notice is that James has this smirky grin on his face through most of his apology video, which indicates he's not as sincerely sorry as he says. A sincere person shouldn't be smiling. Why would a person be smiling if they truly believe they hurt their close friends? All right, like that for me is a terrible example. Like when you read the book on body language, it talks about how body language is something where like you usually have to have multiple encounters with a person to understand their tells, right? And I hate that example of like, aha, see, he's smirking. This is an indicator that he's lying. Like, I think that is a little bit rough because so many people have so many different reactions when they're nervous or when they're afraid. And like, it is common for some people to giggle, smirk, laugh or whatever it is, when they are nervous, all right? Like this is common. So it, it is very difficult to say, okay, there's a smirk, you're automatically lying. Like that is not a very obvious tell, but his videos are kind of littered with things like that. So like I said, it came out that James Charles was telling the truth. And this is where I think it's important to realize that we as YouTubers, anybody who's doing commentary, anybody who's judging a situation, we have to have our own accountability. We have to have a certain amount of integrity for what we are doing. The problem I have, and I've brought this up in another video that I made about the difference between news channels, commentary channels, drama channels, and the like, is like different levels of integrity, okay? So when I talk about integrity, what I mean is doing the right thing. Doing the right thing, especially when nobody's looking. Just do, do the right thing. All right, and something that YouTubers can get caught up in, and I won't accuse Derek Van Shake of this because I don't know him, I don't know what's going in his mind, but the problem that some of us YouTubers can struggle with is chasing views and chasing narratives, 
right? And it's very important for you as the viewer to understand this and to watch, when you're watching YouTubers, watch it with a certain level of skepticism because we are all human. We can all create our own um, biases and uh, just based on the information we're taking in. So for example, when it comes to commentary channels or when it comes to somebody like myself or Derek Van Shake or anybody else who's doing commentary and like kind of looking at what's going on in the YouTube community, we can start to create a bias based on the information that's coming in. Here's what I mean by that. The videos that we're watching on the subject, right? The, the people talking on Twitter and what they're saying. James Charles is a prime example because it was originally thought that James Charles was a terrible, awful human being. So everybody was making videos saying James Charles is a terrible, awful human being. So then one possibility is we create a video and perpetuate that narrative. We throw out facts, reason, uh, reasoning, logic, evidence out the window. We're like, okay, there's a narrative going on. I can play into the audience's confirmation bias by making a video agreeing with what everybody's saying. And this is dangerous. This is why we as YouTubers have to have a certain level of accountability. But who's there to do that? Nobody, there's nobody policing, you know, the commentary channels, right? And I'm not, I'm not here to attack Derek specifically, but I hope to open up a larger conversation. Now, again, although, you know, a lot of us commentary channels, we talk on trending topics and things like that, some of this bias and perpetuating a narrative and creating a bigger dog pile on a person, it happens on a subconscious level, because like I said, we are receiving a lot of information, right? And that's why we all need to take a step back and something I try to teach you as the audience is be, be very, very careful about mob mentality or um, it's uh, talked about a lot in crowd psychology. When you keep hearing the same narrative over and over and over again, you start to believe it and then you get into a situation of groupthink. You are no longer being an independent thinker. And I feel that we as creators, we have an even bigger responsibility to be self-aware when that's happening to us. Now, again, the reason I'm making this video is because, you know, I went back and I checked it. Derek Van Shake's video, calling James Charles a liar, based on body language, has almost one million views. Almost one million views. It has touched almost a million people. I don't know how many of those are unique views, but I don't know how many of you watch the same video over and over, but imagine all the likes, the shares, and everything like that, right? So this is a massive, a massive accusation going out there to almost a million people, and then there has been no retraction, no follow-up statement on that end. And this gets to my final point, this is why I respect Reagan Wolf and what she's doing because Reagan Wolf was probably the first body language channel that I found. And I agree and disagree with her in certain instances. Like I've watched some of her videos where I could tell like, like a great example is her Onision videos. I'm like, okay, you don't like Onision. So your mind might create, you know, additional, you know, uh, negative things about him, even though Nissan isn't a great guy by any stretch of the uh, imagination. But as I'm consuming her content, I have to be like, okay, how much is your bias coming to play when you're judging somebody's body language? But the point I'm getting at is, Reagan Wolf has come out and she's talked about and corrected herself. I can't remember which video it was. It might've been something to do with, um, uh, Melanie, the musician, and you know the accusations against her with her old friend Timothy, but it was on Edwin's generation. In his video, he brought uh, Reagan Wolf on there for a guest segment, and she talked about how she, you know, she was newer at it and everything like that, and she she wanted to correct those things, right? And that's that's awesome. That is so awesome. I have given. Props to iNabber for doing the same thing. He removed one of his first James Charles videos for a similar situation. So all this is very, very important. So again, I just want you to think about and just be very mindful of the content you're consuming and don't believe everything a person says just because they're on YouTube. They are human, they are going to have biases and things like this are gonna happen, all right? But anyways, 
that's all I got for this video. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And while you're at it, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul so you get updates on all the cool new stuff I'm doing. And before I leave, I want to give a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. All right. So thank you so, so much for watching. Be sure to watch out for your own confirmation bias and I'll see you next time.